<laughs> Welcome. Good morning. For those y'all who are fans of Jay or McKinney, y'all going in for a treat today. Today's service day. Y'all stay tuned. So I just, Jay did our undercarriage on Derek's 8.30 last week. And so I just asked him, my lens is fogging up. Dang it to heck. Y'all just going to have to deal with it. It's part of filming. And there's summertime in the south. I asked Jay how the undercarriage was on the 8.30 last week. Oh. And he just says, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell tell YouTube world how bad the undercarriage was, Jay. It was tough. It was tough. Yeah. That thing's a beast, ain't it? Yeah. Dang it, boy. You ought to see, well, I'm sure you have, because you worked on some big stuff over the years. That undercarriage on that 700 Volvo out there, man. Mm -hmm. That thing is a monster. I mean, the yeah. dead gum rails and all, but it took you all week to do that thing, too, didn't it? What, four solid days? No, I didn't have four solid in it. Definitely. Okay, close. It was, uh, 34 and a half hours. What was the worst part about it? Just it was it just because it was big or just tightening all them bolts up. Bolts on the track pads. I bet that took a while. You burned some you burned some air compressor gas. Didn't oh you? yeah. That not only that, and I was cutting all the pads off. Oh yeah. Did you cut the nut heads off of them and just and pull them off, or did you take the bolt heads from nuts? No, yeah. cut the top and all that. You're running the paint. That's right. Well, you have to use a gouge until you have to be really careful. Right? Yeah. Ain't many people that can do that. I've done some on a bulldozer one time. Yeah. But them, uh, guys, that, the lens is screwed up. Uh, Jay's working on the 635 servicing it up. He just cleaned it up and he's about to dirty it up again right there. He, that was a good save, man. We had this front end, the cradle on it, rebuilt during fixing fest. And y'all see that chunk of wood over there? Right there? That chunk of wood went up in there. You see that line hanging down right there? That's a grease line. It broke that line off, that fitting off, where you grease that front end. So it got some slack in that thing. And we didn't really know exactly what was going on with it. So Jay opened, we, we parked this thing. We hadn't been running it this 635. And the way they got it fixed up, they got it fixed where you can skim it. See all those shims right there to tighten it up. So when it broke that fitting off, couldn't grease it, we didn't realize it. And it got some slack in it. So Jay's pulled some uh, shims out of it and fixed them to put it back on. We're to tighten that front end up, keep it from trying to move there. So he's gonna do that. We had a service in here and took just a second to pick up on the on the fuel there. What we're gonna do, we're fi he's fixing to check the, I'm gonna move it a little bit here. We're gonna check the uh, slack here on the front end. Hey, Jay's standing right there. He's, just, he's got one shim out. Jay's taking the, another shim out. <laughs> Try it again here. Yeah, 1.68, that's a millimeter. Yeah, there we go. 
65,000. It's a little over yep. a sixteenth of an inch then. Yep. Very good. This is what caused the problem right here, that fitting right there. Yep. Screws in, got broke off. It's easy for that to happen too right there. Five of them. Five of them, okay. They're different yeah. thicknesses yeah. too, yeah. They're mm -hmm. some paper and you got some thicker ones. Yeah. Just like those John Deere center sections, the way they yeah. were too. Exactly the same. Line back up, throw some more wood over. Kevin, keep it out of his way right quick. See on this machine here, they've got all the filters remoted over here. You don't, there's nothing on the engine. And two fuel filters, pilot filters down there, oil engine oil filters right there. That was pretty slick that they did that. Very good. And then the drain hose is just a hose that comes out the bottom of the belly pan there and drain it right in a bucket.
the last one or is there one more? One more. How much is going to wind up cutting it in? Seven acres. Yep. Yeah. We had the truck, so in the last couple of weeks is all. Some rough trees, man. They got limbs all the way to the, within about 20 feet of the butt of them. Up. We usually run 300, 300 to 400 hours. I set it at 250 so it'll start going off on me. So I kind of know that we need to start gathering up the stuff to do it with. And we change it between 300 and 400. service today I showed what I could I couldn't show everything because I had to load trucks and things like that let me get some water we're quitting time now head to the house I don't know what I'm gonna get into this afternoon I'm gonna probably probably get on my bike and ride I like to ride when it's really hot like it is right now make you sweat a lot you know it's all good. All good. Oh, Hunter cut the yard today. Man, look at that thing. <laughs> Looks good. Real good. Back. See the oak tree right there? Looks good too. Hey, I'm going to take those lower limbs off of it. I'll do it later on this fall though. I'm going to feed the dogs right quick. Get them fed and watered. And I'm going to go up here and swap. Put on my bike riding gear. And I'm gonna hit the road to this afternoon real quick. So what I'm gonna do? I was taking care of. About to get my bike ready right quick. I'm gonna let y'all watch me do that. Uh, what I've done is, is I today I have drink over a hundred ounces of water. I think it's it's like a hundred and two or something like that that I've had so far today. So I'll take one water bottle with me, this uh, insulated type bottle that'll fit, that actually goes on the bike, and uh, and I'm gonna make a run. I'm not sure. I'm gonna do at least 12 miles, and I may end up doing quite a bit more than that. I'm gonna ride till I get to the four lane, and then once I get to the four lane, then I'm gonna decide what my route's gonna be. Whether I'm just gonna turn around and come back here. Or if I'm just gonna make an entire loop, if if I go the four lane, come back here, it's a little over 12 miles, like 12.3 miles or something like that. Is what it is. So I'm gonna get get the bike ready right quick. I gotta put some air in my tires and all that good stuff. 